There's one coming across there. Oh, we got it. There it goes. Oh, oh, clear everything. There it is. Hey everybody, how we doing today? So today's video is about the Palola worm hatch. Uh, what that is, we have what's called a little Palola worm. It uh, looks like a red worm, about two inches long for you freshwater guys. Uh, its life cycle is it grows up in our backcountry gulf side waters along the flats and then the mangroves. And then uh, one period in the year around summertime, May, June, uh, during a full moon, um, because that's when the tides are the strongest, and then an outgoing tide pushing from the Gulf going out to the Atlantic. Um, because what they do is they, they hop a ride onto that current and it flushes them out to the reef where they do whatever they do, turn into an underwater butterfly or whatever they do. Um, but for the fishing wise, uh, people say that it also coincides with the tarpon migration because the tarpon are coming to eat those worms. It's that significant. Um, they also say that the worms are kind of like a tarpon hallucinogenic. It kind of gives them a buzz and makes them kind of loopy, uh, kind of like a tarpon burning man. Go out there and get drugged up and have a good time. Uh, for the fishermen, what we switch to is they are a top water worm. They just corkscrew along the top and zip around. So for flies, it's a perfect time to throw a fly and you just throw a little, looks like a straight piece of rubber band because they just basically skirt along the surface, no real action to it. And I also, uh, one of the reasons for the All About the Bait jig heads that I just released is I wanted something that I could throw a soft plastic that will stay all up along the top, but I could still cast distance, but more importantly, with a strong enough hook that I could land a 100 pound tarpon. And that's why the 1 8 ounce jig head on a 4 aught 2 x strong must-add hook, perfect for that circumstance. Uh, for my bait, I basically took these little pink curly tail grubs, cut off the tail, and I basically have a nice uh, little imitation there with a strong hook that I know I can land a, a tarpon with. To throw that light bait, I actually had uh, Esky built me a custom rod, uh, just specifically for throwing those uh, light baits and the little uh, live crabs and uh, uh, live shrimp, but uh, I'll do a special video about that later. Um, so the last couple days, what's been happening is uh, on Sunday night, uh, I stayed up all night because I released the uh, jig heads on Saturday and I had to pack those orders. So it's about 5.36 in the morning when I finished. So I figured, yeah, the sun's going to be coming out. I'm going to go do a hooky run, load the kayak and just ran out to there before sunrise. Got out to the check out the, uh, the shark channel just to see if tarpon were starting to stack up and stage up there and maybe get a shot at a few. But really didn't see anything out of the ordinary. So I was like, eh. All right, we'll just have to see what happens. I didn't expect much to happen that night because the tide was, outgoing tide was ending in the evening time. And they definitely, definitely want that, that tide to be pushed farther into the night. That will push them all the way out to the reef. So on uh, uh, Tuesday night, I went out getting ready for the worm hatch. Um, did some running around, scouting it out during the day. And then in the afternoon time, I went out to the Atlantic side flats. And I started running into schools of tarpon. So I was like, oh, this is good. All right, they're staging up. So I sat out there on anchor and I was just throwing at different schools as they passed by. Um, later on the evening, I started hearing and seeing some tarpon rolling and splashing like they're feeding. So I was like, oh, that's a good sign. And then I saw a couple worms go by and then I'm like, boom, this is it. Switched out my fly, put on that jig head and uh, cruised up uh, the, the channel to a kind of a spot out of the way because by that time there was about a dozen guide boats lined up on either side of the shark channel outlet just getting ready for the hatch and all the tarpon to turn on. I uh, got up there and nothing. Didn't see another worm or another tarpon go by. Uh, I did hook up on one tarpon on the fly there but I just lost it real quick. And uh, yeah, that was the night. So I thought, oh, okay, maybe the tide's just not enough. So I went back out again. Uh, same thing, went out directly out to the flats in the evening time. And there was just tarpon schools just running up and down that, uh, the edge of the flats there. I anchored up. I threw the fly at probably 50 different tarpon. And I, I probably saw another 100 tarpon going by during that time frame. They're just cruising. You can tell they're not in a rush to go anywhere. They're not feeding, they're just cruising around. They would come up, run into my kayak, and 
just circle around it. I could see them looking at me, looking at the kayak as they did circles around it and they would just hang out there in their school and then they'd just swim off and then the other school would come by and take a look and it was just like, ugh. It got so bad after I was so tired of throwing it, I just didn't want to look at it anymore. So I went back up to my spot even before anything happened. Uh, but that day there was no more guide boats there. It was just three local boats. So I moved back down to the outlet. Um, sun was coming down and then we started seeing some activity, some tarpon busting out there. So that was a good sign. Saw a few worms going by. That was a good sign. Then most importantly, I saw the birds diving randomly on stuff. And that's when I knew and started seeing more tarpon activity. I'm like, okay, it's going to turn on now. Getting ready, start practicing, getting ready. And nothing. It just turned off. Everything went away. No worms, no tarpon were busting, birds left. And it was just nothing for the rest of the night. It just I stayed till pitch black dark and just nothing. It was perfect conditions, but just nothing. So on Thursday, I go back out and this time the... The wind has picked up. Now it's blowing 15s. It's like, ugh, rough condition. The water's all dirty and choppy. And I was like almost debating not going out, but I just had to know. So I went back out there. The front side, Atlantic side, was kind of blown out, so I didn't worry about it. Stayed inside. I did hook up on a tarpon on a pinfish and lost it. And then the evening time, went to the channel, anchored up there, and just waited. And no worms, no tarpon. I did catch a couple fish, including my personal best Kubera snapper, which I'll show you. But that was it. Nothing happened. So possibly maybe in the next couple weeks when the next uh, uh, tide cycle goes through, even though it's not a full moon, maybe because the wind turned them off or possibly June's full moon, they'll do another kickoff and maybe that'll be the main hatch. But we'll have to see. Um, it's just a very interesting phenomenon uh, normally you go out you might see a couple tarpon rolling so you know there's fish around or maybe you hook up into one or two and you're okay there's fish around but with the pull of worm hatch it's one of those times where you will physically see every tarpon in that area because they'll be coming out of the water chasing those worms so the whole horizon will just see backs of tarpon coming up and that just kind of gives you either bums you out or gives you incentive like they're here i just got to catch them or God, they're here and I can't catch them. I suck. So pretty interesting, but we'll stay on it and I'll let you guys know how it works out. But otherwise, I've got some clips of my last four days since I really don't have a lot to show, but uh, you can check out that Kubera snapper as well. But so uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Unfortunately, Memorial Weekend is blown out 2025s and that's the same way through the mid to end of next week. So I think I'll pump out a bunch of all about the bait videos because I'm kind of behind on those. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Check out the clips. Bye. Oh no. Where are you going? I don't know what this thing is. Fighting weird, I think. Jack. Small shark. It's cooperating. grouper oh is that a uh kubera snapper well i barely got him hooked oh look at that look at that holy moly oh, that hook just popped right out look at that baby <laughs> Do a quick measurement.
26 inches. Nice. Oh, look at that baby. <laughs> Don't want you dead. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Look at that. Nice. Don't want my sharks to come get you. You alright? There he goes. Hehehe. <laughs> That's almost much better than a tarpon. <laughs> All right, fish on. Jack. Yep. Late Jack. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. 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 All righty. Well. Jacks are still around. Man, stop, 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 stop. Enough. Nice, Jack. Ugh, get out of here. Ugh. <laughs> 